Hi, we're here at IE Gallery for our March show of Ed Musante and Lonnie Lucas. We're going to just do a quick walkthrough here for those of you who haven't been in yet to see the work. Lonnie Lucas works with found objects, making these soulful sculptures. She often finds mooring buoys, sometimes gets lobster buoys from the East Coast, scraps from the beaches, and her own collection, and putters away on these pieces, and puts together a critter of some kind. Here we have an owl with its nest ball bearings for the eggs. Even the backs are beautifully worked on. And then we'll go over to her wall piece. This is called Seascape. sits out from the wall about eight inches, has a fish net with a, a little fish bait, bait net, it's called, with a little bit of a few marbles in there, driftwood, carved whale, a carved whale. This was not carved by her, the whale itself. This In this piece, it was a found object. Let's take a look at her steelhead. This is what we have running in the river all the time here. And not all the time, but quite a bit. It's up the Samish River. This piece is a lobster buoy from the East Coast found by her friend. And it's, you can see it's an interesting sort of wood we're not sure if it's yellow cedar. These pieces are held and worked on for a long time, sometimes for a couple of years, till she feels like they're ready to go out in the world. Let's move over to the cow. Lovely little cow. Again, another kind of mooring buoy. Some old leather for a tongue. Bolts for the eyes. Okay, we're going to another owl. This is called Owl with Nest. Again, the buoy, whether it be a mooring buoy or a boating buoy, makes an excellent body here. Beautiful surfaces. We'll let's walk over to this piece is reminiscent of Maine. Lori had a, or Lonnie rather, had a residency in Maine. This is called the Mariner. Scrap wood, moss, metal figure, marbles. The bases and supports are always beautifully done in these pieces. Lori's from Vancouver, BC, lives there now. She's a dual citizen, so comes down to Seattle and in between places quite often, to Woodby Island, to Beachcomb. Ah, oh, this is beautiful figure and baleen. Here, the teeth are carved. And there's twine or rope for this 
spray in the figure. These look like oversized clothespins almost, but whatever she has found on the beach, and especially for the fin, or rather the tail. It's a beautiful piece, and she's carved it slightly up in the top. And her final piece is another baleen whale. It's going to be backlit, so let's see how clear it is in the camera. The camera will adjust, perhaps. Not very well. We've got it in the window, so it's hard to see it. I'm going to go around to the other side and see how that works. Look at those surfaces. We'll take a close look at the surface of this mammal. Bristles, old bristles for the baleen. You can see all the little numbers and stamps and distressing on it. That's lint, or rather, excuse me, wool for the spout. It will, it will pop right here to Ed Musante, who paints on vintage cigar boxes. These are all bird portraits. And in his title, he names the bird and the cigar. It's an Oriole Harvester, Harvester's Cigar. And they're vintage. You can see they were five cents. So we know they've been, that box has been around a while. This is um, White Owl. It's actually Barn Owl, White Owl. I'd use this dry pigment and um, usually a little bit of acrylic gel medium to make his paint. Uh, so you get a beautiful luminous glow to these pieces. And he takes a lot of time to decide which bird goes on which box. Uh, Scott Spriol and Crema. Crema. And the red tail Chateau Fuente. This is what we see all over where I live here in Edison. A lot of the red tails. Uh, this is a beautiful little Verdon with um, Alec Bradley as the cigar. Beautifully painted. They're very touching bird portraits. You can often see the surface of the cigar box through the paint. Sorry, that's not in focus very well. We'll go over to another beauty, the thrush. Portina. I like to show how this is painted. It's got a lot of beautiful brushwork in here. Western Tanager. I have to read the labels. I wouldn't know these. A wonderful portrait of a crow. And this has a lot of personality, this burrowing owl on the Perfectos box. Another Western Tanager on Pontage. Parta, Partagas. I don't know what that is, Partagas. Mm. 
beautifully painted the Prat Natori. And last but not least, certainly, is the little black Phoebe. And that is it from Edison, Washington, and IE Gallery. We're open through the end of March with this exhibit. See you soon. Thank you.